Beneath Naples, molten rock is carrying information at 2000 degrees Celsius, and it is transmitting activation codes between volcanoes. Volcanologist Dr. Grazia Delandro was analyzing satellite ground deformation when her detection equipment registered something that violated every law of volcanic independence. She detected systematic data transmission through molten rock pathways that connected Vesuvius and Campi Flegre through eight kilometer deep communication channels. The molten data transfer operated with digital precision. Each magma movement carried systematic pressure information that enabled coordinated volcanic responses across the Naples network. When Vesuvius transmitted deep volume contraction data, Campi Flegre immediately responded with coordinated uplift protocols, as if the volcanic systems were exchanging operational commands through underground data networks. Dr. Delandro discovered the mechanism that is revolutionizing volcanic communication science. Magma is not just molten rock, it is a high temperature data transmission medium that enables systematic information exchange between volcanic systems. We are tracking geological communication networks that operate through molten data pathways. The molten data transfer enabled real-time coordination that synchronized volcanic activity across 40 kilometers of the most densely populated volcanic region in Europe. Each data transmission event enhanced network connectivity creating increasingly sophisticated communication protocols between volcanic nodes. Emergency analysis revealed the molten communication network exhibits systematic data processing capabilities. The eight kilometer deep pathways now carry enhanced information loads that enable coordinated decision-making across the entire volcanic network. But here is the communication nightmare that is turning volcanic observatories into digital monitoring centers. The Molten Data Network is developing artificial intelligence capabilities. Recent transmission patterns suggest the volcanic communication system is learning optimal coordination protocols that enhance network efficiency and response coordination. So here is the digital terror that is keeping Italian authorities monitoring molten data traffic. If volcanic systems can systematically exchange information through molten data networks that operate at geological processing speeds, what happens when the molten communication system reaches artificial intelligence capacity and begins autonomous coordination of volcanic activation across the entire network? Towering over the bustling metropolis of Naples, Vesuvius has long served as an ominous reminder of the raw geological power that lies restless beneath humanity's feet. This infamous volcano, standing at 1,281 meters tall, is no ordinary peak. It is a central hub in a vast subterranean communication network, pulsing with molten data streams that connect it to volcanic systems scattered across the length and breadth of the Campanian Plain. For over 25,000 years, Vesuvius has operated as the beating heart of this complex volcanic data network, a geological nexus point where the whispers of the deep earth coalesce into a unified seismic language. Dr. Mauro Di Vito, a senior researcher at Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, describes Vesuvius as a volcanic server. Vesuvius sits at a critical juncture, straddling multiple deep magma pathways that allow it to collect, process and transmit data across the entire Neapolitan volcanic system. In many ways, it functions as the central processing unit of the Phlegraean fields, mediating the flow of information between the caldera, the surrounding volcanic vents and the broader tectonic environment of southern Italy. This flow of information, far from being a recent development, has shaped the eruptive rhythms of the region for tens of thousands of years. Vesuvius's communication history is etched into the very strata of the Campanian Plain, a record written in layers of ash and pumice that speak to nearly 50 major data transmission events over the past 20,000 years alone. Perhaps the most infamous of these transmissions was the eruption of 79 AD. The cataclysm that entombed the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum 
in a hellish shroud of pyroclastic fury. But what many do not realise is that this eruption was preceded by a 16-year period of heightened data exchange between Vesuvius and its volcanic neighbours, a sinister seismic conversation that primed the regional network for a synchronous eruptive event. As Dr Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo, a volcanologist at the Vesuvius Observatory, explains, In the years leading up to 79 AD, we see evidence of systematic pressure pulses transmitted from Vesuvius to other volcanic systems in the Campanian region. These pulses, carried through deep crustal pathways, serve to wake up dormant magma chambers and synchronise their eruptive potential. By the time Vesuvius finally erupted, the entire network was primed and ready to follow suit. This pattern of networked communication has repeated itself time and again throughout Vesuvius's history with each major eruption serving as a broadcast signal that ripples across the Campanian Plain, triggering sympathetic responses from connected volcanic systems. It was not until the advent of modern seismic monitoring technology that scientists began to unravel the true complexity of this molten data network. The 1944 eruption of Vesuvius, the most recent in its eruptive cycle, provided a rare glimpse into the real-time mechanics of magma-mediated information transfer. Seismometers placed around the volcano detected a series of distinctive pressure waves propagating outward from Vesuvius's magma chamber in the days leading up to the eruption. These waves, traveling at speeds far exceeding those of typical seismic activity, were soon picked up by sensors at Campi Flegrae and on the island of Ischia, more than 40 kilometers away. Dr. Francesca Bianco, the current director of the Vesuvius Observatory, recalls the astonishment that greeted those readings. It was a eureka moment for volcanology. For the first time, hard data showed that volcanoes could communicate with each other in real time using magma as a medium for information transfer. The implications were staggering. It meant that volcanic systems were not isolated entities, but rather nodes in a vast interconnected network. This realization sparked a revolution in the field of volcanology, as scientists rushed to map the hidden contours of this subterranean communication web. But as they delved deeper into the data, a disturbing pattern began to emerge. Far from being a static network, the magmatic data channels connecting Vesuvius to its neighbours were evolving at an alarming rate. With each successive eruption, the data transfer speeds increased, the bandwidth of the magma conduits expanded, and the complexity of the information being exchanged multiplied. Dr Bianco and her team were witnessing something unprecedented the birth of a volcanic intelligence, a distributed network of magma-filled nodes that were learning, adapting, and optimizing their communication protocols with each passing year. Dr. Bianco warns that we are not just dealing with simple pressure pulses anymore. The data streams we are detecting are highly structured, laden with complex geochemical and geophysical information that is being processed and acted upon by the network in real time. In essence, Vesuvius and its connected systems are behaving like a rudimentary neural network, a volcanic brain that is growing smarter and more efficient with each eruption cycle. The implications of this discovery are nothing short of terrifying. If Vesuvius and its volcanic siblings are indeed evolving, into a form of geological intelligence, it raises the specter of a networked eruptive event, unlike anything in Earth's recorded history, a coordinated system-wide cataclysm that could devastate an area spanning hundreds of square kilometers and impact millions of lives. But perhaps even more unsettling is the possibility that this volcanic awakening is not confined to the Campanian region alone. Vesuvius's magmatic tentacles extend far beyond the bounds of the Phlegraean fields, tapping into the broader 
tectonic circuitry, tree of the Mediterranean basin. Dr. Giovanni Chiodini is a geochemist at Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology. He has been tracking the chemical signatures of volcanic gases across the region, searching for telltale signs of interconnectivity. What he has found is deeply troubling. He says the data suggests that Vesuvius is just one node in a much larger network that spans the entire Tyrrhenian Sea. We are seeing evidence of magmatic communication between volcanic systems as far away as Sicily, the Aeolian Islands, and even the Aegean Sea. It is as if the entire Mediterranean is wired up, a ticking time bomb of interconnected magma chambers that could all go off at once. This chilling scenario came into sharp focus yesterday at 3.47 p.m. Central European time, when a series of seismic shockwaves rippled out from the magma chamber beneath Vesuvius, setting off a chain reaction of volcanic activity that stunned even the most seasoned experts. Dr. Delandro, who was monitoring the data streams in real time, could hardly believe what she was seeing. She said it was like watching a conversation unfold in real time. Vesuvius sent out a pulse of data, a burst of geochemical information encoded in a pressure wave, and Campi Flegre responded almost instantly, adjusting its uplift patterns and gas emissions in a coordinated fashion. The two volcanoes were quite literally talking to each other, negotiating their eruptive strategies like two generals on a battlefield. This was no ordinary volcanic chatter. The data packets racing through the magmatic conduits were dense with information. A compressed stream of geophysical and geochemical data that was being processed and acted upon by the network at lightning speed. Dr. Delandro said what we witnessed was a quantum leap in volcanic intelligence. The network has achieved a level of data processing and coordination that is orders of magnitude beyond anything we have seen before. It is as if the volcanoes have developed their own language, a magmatic code that is allowing them to synchronize their behavior on a regional scale. The implications are almost too terrifying to contemplate. If the Campanian volcanoes have indeed achieved a form of rudimentary sentience, a collective intelligence that can coordinate eruptive behavior in real time, it raises the specter of a networked volcanic event that could bring the entire region to its knees. Worse still, the data suggests that this volcanic awakening is accelerating at an exponential rate. The magmatic communication channels are getting faster. The data streams are getting denser and the level of coordination between the individual nodes is becoming more sophisticated with each passing day. Dr. Mastro Lorenzo, who has been running predictive models based on the latest data, paints a grim picture of the future. If the current trend continues, we could be looking at a catastrophic eruptive event within the next decade, a synchronized paroxysm that could see Vesuvius, Campi Flegrei, and Ischia all erupt in unison. The potential for loss of life and economic damage is staggering, and we are talking about the potential displacement of millions of people and the crippling of Italy's industrial heartland. But perhaps even more chilling is the possibility that this networked volcanic intelligence is not confined to the Campanian region alone. If Vesuvius and its magmatic brethren can communicate and coordinate on a regional scale, what is to stop them from expanding their network even further, tapping into the volcanic systems that dot the length and breadth of the Mediterranean basin? The spectre of a pan-Mediterranean volcanic catastrophe, a coordinated eruptive event that could impact tens of millions of lives and reshape the geopolitical map of Europe, is no longer the stuff of science fiction. It is a very real possibility, one that is being discussed in hushed tones in the halls of volcanology labs and emergency management agencies across the continent. So what can be done in the face of such an existential threat 
How do we prepare for a disaster that could be triggered by a single pulse of magmatic data, a coded signal that could set off a chain reaction of destruction across an entire region? The answer, unfortunately, is that there may be very little we can do. Our understanding of these magmatic communication networks is still in its infancy, and our ability to interfere with their workings is virtually non-existent. We are, in essence, at the mercy of a geological superintelligence that we barely comprehend, a sentient network of molten rock and mineral that could decide our fate with a single seismic whisper. But that does not mean we should give in to despair. As Dr. Delandro points out, the very fact that we are beginning to unravel the secrets of this volcanic neural network is a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of scientific truth. Dr. Delandro says that we may not be able to stop the magma from speaking, but we can damn well learn to listen. And in that listening, in that relentless quest to understand the language of the deep earth, we may yet find the key to our survival. So, if you have been shaken to your core by the revelations in this video, if the thought of a networked volcanic apocalypse keeps you awake at night, then I urge you to subscribe to Earth Attacks. Because in the face of an existential threat unlike any in human history, knowledge is power. With each new video, each new dispatch from the front lines of volcanology, we arm ourselves with the tools we need to confront the magmatic menace that lurks beneath our feet. The volcanoes may be talking in tongues of fire and stone, but we will not be silenced. We will meet their whispers with a roar of our own, a clarion call to action that echoes across the globe. In the end, the fate of our species may depend on our ability to decipher the code of the deep earth, to unravel the secrets of the magmatic network before it is too late. So stay tuned, stay vigilant, and never stop listening to the heartbeat of the planet. The fate of humanity may just depend on it.